welcome back to my channel this is part of my supernatural playlist so if you enjoy these sorts of videos about ghosts and strange occurrences stay tuned if not that's absolutely fine my normal reseller content is on my channel so please pop back over there and no hard feelings at all i am doing these videos just because they have been requested that i do them on a playlist so i thought i may as well pop them on here and see how they go so this video i am going to call the family photo so basically if you watched the introduction video to this playlist you'll know that i do tarot so i do tarot readings i do them intuitively i don't tend to talk to spirit as far as i'm aware but i do get information in other ways it still scares me to this day how accurate things can be that i come up with and i honestly don't know how it happens i was told by a medium a long time ago several mediums actually that i needed to pursue this and that i had a natural gift so i did anyway this goes back again to a long time ago it was probably 16 17 years ago when i went round to a friend's house to do her a reading in her dining room and we did the reading and when i was about to finish the reading um what happened was she had an oven and it was quite an old oven one of those ones with the like a cupboard that's underneath the oven that you can keep your trays in to keep them warm and that basically flew open and all the trays flew out all over the kitchen quite forcefully so that was quite scary <laughs> So that happened and I stayed with her for a bit to make sure she was okay because I didn't want to leave in the house on her own and finished the reading and went home. So that night, I think because of what had happened in her kitchen, I was a little freaked out. So what I did, I didn't normally do my switching off that I normally do after a reading. You normally ground yourself and come out of it and I didn't do that. So I went home, had a cup of tea and went to bed. And as I was drifting off to sleep, I had a really vivid dream, which basically was a photograph. It was a family photograph and it was my friend with her husband and her three boys. But there was a little girl in this photograph that wasn't around at that point. There was a little girl and she looked just like my friend. She had the same colour hair, but she had, she was older. She was about four or five. She had a checkered summer dress on for school and bunches in her hair and all I could hear when I was looking at this photograph in my dream was Dear Jessie by Madonna. If you don't know that song it's basically pink land elephants and lemonade Dear Jessie hear the laughter raining through the love parade da, da, da. it's lovely it's a lovely song look it up if you haven't heard it. So I woke up and I was a bit freaked out so the next day I saw my friend and I said to her, I need to speak to you. She was like, okay, what's up? She was really like, oh. So I told her what happened with the picture in the dream and the song. And she just stared at me. And I was like, what, what is it? She said, I've been asking, cause she never told me this. I've been asking my husband if we can have another baby for ages cause I really want a girl. And I went, okay. I was like, you're not pregnant, are you? And she was like, no. I was like, okay. So I said, so what is it then? And she said, if I have a girl, I wanted to call her Jessie or Jessica. Okay. So I was a bit freaked. Anyway, years later, we'd moved away from each other because we lived on a military base. And I was friends with her on Facebook. And she went on to have a little girl and a very similar picture appeared on her Facebook of her, her three boys, her husband and this little girl. She was not called Jessica though. <laughs> she changed the name, but I don't know whether that's something she did because she changed her mind over time or whether it freaked her out what I said. But things are never set in stone. You can change anything. I always say that when you have a reading, you can change anything. It's kind of like getting a heads up on things. Some things can't be changed, but little decisions like that can be. 
So yeah, that's my story on that one. I always smile when I think about that because it's like I saw her coming and I knew what her mum wanted to call her before she was here, which is bizarre and it really freaks me out. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and this story. It is true. True story. Um, Happened to me. Happened to me doing a reading for my friend. If you're interested in this sort of thing, I've got lots more stories to tell. So watch the playlist. Let me know what you think. Anything like this happened to you, let me know in the comments. Any stories at all that you think might be relevant, pop them in the comments and I will promise you I will read them all because I love this sort of stuff. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Ta-ta.